Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy, and today I have the Cavalan Soulist Pedro Jimenez Single Cast Select. I'll let you know how this five year old Taiwanese whiskey drinks like a 20 year old scotch when I nose it, taste it, and give it a mark. Alright, this PX Cast distilled in June 2010, bottled October 2015, five years, three months old, coming in at 55.6% ABV. Let's see how it is on the nose. So lots of rich fruit, as you expect, very sweet with that PX cask. Strawberry, almond, the oak note in here is really, really nice. Really nice, like, orange kind of zest um, thing happening with this, the citrus. Definitely like that, like, almond, almond paste note, of course. I mean, it's super rich, super bold sherry. It's everything you'd want in a sherry bomb of whiskey. Really, really nice on the nose. Really good. Let's go palate. Delivers really big on the palate. Huge bold flavors. Brings a huge punch with it as well. Of course, you get those uh, fruit notes happening once again. It's like this like candy, kind of like marshmallow uh, note that goes on the finish that's like exceptionally long. Really, really nice. It's like sweet candy apple note. Lots of sweet notes, of course. The raisins, prunes, um, kind of like brown sugar combo. Just puts everything together so nicely with this. This thing... Like I said, brings a punch. It is a heavy, heavy sherry bomb. Um, the 55% ABV definitely makes itself known. It does hit you. Um, for people who love the like sherry bomb experience, uh, this one is you know tops of the tops uh, is what I've had as far as impactful, uh, heavy, heavy sherry. Viscosity uh, right up there. Very high viscosity. Very long finish. I mean that finish just explodes in fruit flavors. Um, again, that sweetness, that like candy, kind of sweet marshmallow. I mean, it's really, really nice. These come in really nice boxes. This is probably the nicest whiskey box that I've gotten so far. I mean, I think they call these like piano boxes. They're just like super well done. Very, um, you know, luxurious style looking box. Nice, heavy uh, wood, really nice finish on it. Um, but I mean, <laughs> I don't care about the box really. The problem with paying uh, for a box like this is that I end up just recycling it or whatever because I have no room literally for additional boxes. I just kind of kept this until I did the review, but um, I guess I might keep this box. It is it is pretty nice, but again, I hate paying for, uh, for extravagant packaging because essentially I'm never going to keep it or use it. But anyway, nice box for this one for sure. That uh, Taiwanese climate definitely uh, super ages the whiskey. Cavalier made a big name for themselves. Um, back in 2006, they won a whole bunch of whiskey awards. Almost their entire lineup uh, always wins stuff, especially the Solist uh, single casks. They're very, very nice. This one, um, no exception at all. Uh, score wise for me on this, I'm going 92 out of 100. I do like it that much. Let's talk value. I paid 400 US dollars for this. That was a couple years ago. Um, for the time, it was a good price. These you're usually looking at around 600 or so dollars. Um, I've seen them, you know, even more than that in other markets. So decent price on this one at 400 US dollars, still very, very high. I think I'm going to take off a mark, bring it down to 91. But um, I mean, this is exceptional sherry bomb level whiskey. Uh, really, really good. If you like PX cast, you like that sherry bomb stuff. I mean, you have to try this one. It is very very good and probably one of my favorite Cavalans that I've had. Um, these uh, cast selections, part of like a series they did with um, the rest of the sherry ones, I'll put them here. Um, I've tried I think all of these ones, very very nice. Um, I think the PX was kind of my favorite but they're all right there. I'd probably score them pretty much almost the same. They're all probably in the 90s for sure. But Cavalan definitely known for picking good casks because um, these casks come to maturation you know, five, six, seven years seems like their sweet spot and you just get so much flavor out of these things. It's uh, really, really good stuff. Expensive, but um, the quality is definitely there in most of their expressions that I've tried so far, for sure. Let me know what you think. Cavalan Whiskey, uh, what have you tried so far out of, the, out of their lineup? Have you had their Sherry, their Oloroso? Um, you know, they make the port, it's really, really nice. If you're a, a member of the Cava Fan uh, group, you get some exclusive bottlings at some higher uh, higher ages. You know, they go up to like eight, nine. 
years old uh, with some of those expressions that are really, really nice. So let me know what you think. Catalan Whiskey, uh, big mark for me on this one. Let me know if you tried this or any of the other uh, out of the range in the comments down below. Thanks again for tuning in. I uh, appreciate you watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button for more content just like this. I'll see you next time. Cheers.